Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm TJ. And we got a lot of firsts today. First of all, we're going to be trying out the new Model C from Eclipson, and also, it's made from a brand new filament. Yeah, Collar Fab has their brand new lightweight PLA in this beautiful red color. And the other first is, this is my first 3D printed airplane. Awesome. So we're going to go back in time. TJ and I are going to actually build this thing together, and then we're going to take it out and fly for the first time. Along with that, we're going to be sharing with you with all about the new materials for Color Fab. Also, we have some really cool details on some discounts and giveaways at the end of this video. So we got all the pieces for our fuselage. You ready to get started, man? Man, I sure am. So before you ever do anything, you always want to make sure that your pieces fit. Looks really good. I'm just going to go ahead and put a real thin bead. I don't put it right on the edge where it's going to butt. I just kind of put it right on the edge of that lip. So when I yeah. slide them together, it's going to push back. On the back side here, they actually give you dowel. So after this piece here right. lines up, we're going to be putting push rods down through this. And that's going to help us to kind of keep these pieces all in line. They even include extra little tabs here to keep alignment as you build back. So no right. matter what, as you build, things line up. Much like John uh, Overstreet's Master Series, mm -hmm. as long as you take your time and line up pieces, they're good to go. And here we'll do a quick test fit. Yeah, so much of this parallel is kind of working with foam. It's a great medium between balsa uh -huh. and between foam board. Okay. So now you can do the test fit on that one. That okay. one has a nice shelf. So we just line it up, make sure everything fits. Bottom, top. Looks like flush fit all the way around. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, it really is. Cool, fuselage is pretty much done. Um, Friends, this is the basic techniques we're gonna use for every piece on this model. TJ, you got it down pack. What do you say we divide it yeah, I, I am pleasantly surprised. I was nervous when you asked me to do this with you, and I was like, man, I'm gonna mess this up, yeah. but I'm, I'm happy. So yes, I'm, I'm confident right. I can get it done. All right, so TJ's gonna tackle the wings. I'm gonna tackle the fuselage here, get the landing gear on, and we're gonna get this thing built. All right, we're gonna get started on the wing. We did lay everything out nice and pretty, and I did kind of skim through the build video. Again, there is a build video for this. It's really nice and detailed, and it's helped me a lot so far. So we're gonna get started. And the first things first is we have to find these little pieces. So these little guides, and everything else has these tabs. Nice and pretty, goes together easy. The only ones that don't are these two here. So just like Josh did with fuselage earlier, I'm gonna take these tabs, we're gonna glue them in place on here to help us line up the next piece. So one cool thing about this model is it does have swappable wing tips. So depending on the style of flying you want to do, you do have these winglets and then also just the normal, normal wing tips that go on. We're putting magnets in. So magnets go on and then it has the dowels that kind of hold them in place. So now that we have the wing pretty much all done, I just got a few things to polish up. Let's check out what Josh is doing. Looks like I knew what I was doing, man. You look great. I like how, how I, oh, I never liked Dude, it's, it's my first thing I've ever done with 3D printed planes. It's awesome. That is fantastic. <laughs> and this red pops yeah. so nicely. Well done, Alvaro, and well done, Color Fab. Crushed it. Well done, all the CA glue stuck well all over me. Well done, <laughs> CA glue. You have to take a picture with your first wing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, probably my most favorite thing about this is not just the type of airplane that we're building here, but this here is the Model A. The Model A used tape hinges, which is common with a lot of the 3D printed models. It works, but it's not as pretty. Uh, they have definitely stepped up their game and the evolution of how the design works is amazing. Now what they're doing is they're having pins and hold downs. So instead of the hinges being taped on just one side, it's actually a pin going right down the center. You have a beautiful clean surface. It assembles easy and no more tape. It's incredible. So I'm gonna put this rudder on, check out how good this looks. On top of that, we have a steerable tail wheel. So we'll be able to actually taxi this around too. Putting together now. So we're putting together the landing gear, man. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This works off of two millimeter rod, thin landing gear wire right. uh, on our swappables, same exact stuff. So right. Not only can you use barbecue skewers for the dowels if you lose one, but you can also use our uh, thin landing gear wire as well too. Something I love is when you print, it even has details on the air on what goes forward and what goes backwards, so that's pretty darn cool. 143 millimeters. I just figured out what we were doing. 
don't tell nobody. <laughs> I see where you're going now. So this is this is actually pretty cool how they it's they mapped. have it. Yeah, they have it's it all mapped. laid out like perfectly. Yeah, it's mapped out. You just build it along with it. Here's our landing gear. Nice. And this needs to be uh, this one needs to be 23 millimeters. Did you look out? Ow! There it is. He didn't even flinch. It didn't hurt. <laughs> it didn't hurt a bit. All right, well, let's put this in, make sure All right, it's cool. right, and then uh, we'll do the other half. Yep. You always want to do a dry run before you glue anything in. Yeah, 100%. It's a lot easier right, to that correct one. it. All right, we totally got to take note of how they did this and put that on foam board planes. Dude, that's gorgeous that's and super easy. All right, we're gonna glue this down. Gonna build one more. Actually, why don't you build one more? Okay, I'll build another one. All right, so we've been talking a lot about the lightweight PLA here, but this is huge. This is mm -hmm. actually a 3D printed wheel. Not foam. Yeah, and it's absolutely like, look, look at that, just look at it. Squeeze it. That's insane. It's like a stress ball. Like, this is something that years ago, no. No, no. yeah, it, exactly, it, that says it all, and, no. And it has the perfect, <laughs> it has the perfect amount of squish. Yeah, I mean, not to keep beating a dead horse at this point, but what I love about this and the ideas is no matter what kind of plane we build, you can make your own wheel. So if we made something, mm. you know, big, you, we could print a wheel for it. You know, if we made something tiny, you could 3D print a wheel and still have that same. I just thought, okay, so we have a problem with this one here. Yeah. Like this tire is about an inch too short. We could just 3D print one this right. big. And you can also make scale, tread, all that right. kind of stuff. So Dude, it's, all right. That's a big deal for me. So <laughs> again, this is Color Fab uh, TPU Vario Sure. Yes. We'll put the link down below because all the acronyms, I get them mixed up, but uh, wow. Okay, landing gear is done, it's perfect. Um, I just gotta cut this one little end off. Um, put some hot glue to keep it on. Electronics. It's looking good, man. It looks We're good. We're almost there. Almost there. I bet you we'll be flying in 30 minutes. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Oh, that part's too loud. Brother, you did good. Thanks, man. And, and I mean, I've got some skin left. You got some skin left. <laughs> you did a great job. The hardest thing about this is, frankly, not gluing your fingers to the airplane. It right. is really easy to build these. And like we said, three hours later, this has radios, electronics, everything. This builds at about the same time as one of our foam board airplanes. So if you like those, you're gonna love yeah, this. Definitely. So are you ready to fly it? I am. Awesome. Before we go out and fly, guys, TJ's been flying with us for years. Also, he's doing really great things with Buddy RC and Ohio Model Products. Make sure you go over to his channel. It'll be linked down below. Check him out. He's a dear part of the flight test family, but also doing great things in the hobby. Thanks, man. No problem. Let's go play. Let's go play. <laughs> All, All right, dude. <laughs> you did great. Thank you. We said we wanted to build this in three hours. Right. We built it in three hours. It was that simple. There is a lot of printing time, but keep in mind when it comes time to assemble, it is a blast. Yeah. And again, with Color Fab PLA, the lightweight stuff, man, it yeah. is absolutely. Like, I'm still blown away. It is a little more fragile, but it's 40% right. lighter, uh, almost 50% lighter. So right. it's incredible. What do you say? Want to put it in here? Yeah. Let's let's fly. All right. I I've got you, bud. Are you ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a new favorite. I thought the Model A was my favorite. <laughs> dude, it looks, it looks so good in the air. Yeah. With those crazy Draco wingtips on it. Yeah, oh dude. my gosh, man! I'm flying this off a Power Pack C, 1300 milliamp battery. Everything balances out beautiful. I got the FT Aura 5, and all right, I'm just gonna do a roll. So the crazy thing with the Clipson is not only are all their airplanes just beautiful to look at, but they all fly good. I mean, they're engineered to fly good. It's not just like a shrunken down, you know, uh, model. All right, I'm, I got flap rounds in, so I'm gonna drop one notch of flaps here. One little notch of flaps. Yeah, I love it because it slows it down and it's so much easier to chase. Yeah. Look at that. You just can't repeat those kind of lines with these kind of planes, you know? All right, let's just do inverted real quick. Just a little bit of forward pressure, easy as spy. All right, let's just do a touch and go. I think I just need to milk it more on the stall. Yeah, I think it's coming in pretty hot right now. 
All right, I'm gonna turn this around. Let's do a stall takeoff. You ready? All yep. right, one notch of flaps. Three. Dude, that was <laughs> that was fast. Yeah. Well, power is not an issue for this thing. And this is, by the way, three cell. <laughs> wow. All right, let's let's just go a little crazy. There's a flat spin nice. for you guys. Look at that. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> All right, not only is it a bush plane, but it's probably one of the most capable 3D printed aerobatic planes I've flown. All right, what do you say I landed here? Awesome, awesome. Yep. All right, brother, that was awesome. It really was, man. It was so much fun to chase. Yeah, I think by far this is my favorite here. Every time we fly a new model, I find a new favorite, but this right now is my favorite. Three hour build with your best friend and, and also this crazy material here. Yeah, the TPU, very sure for the wheels. I mean, we weren't joking when we said we want this stuff for the shop so we yeah. can print, well, whatever kind of size wheels we want. Absolutely, and, and with the lightweight PLA, especially in the different colors, it saves us a ton of time and mm -hmm. painting and things like that. So if you are interested in the lightweight PLA from Color Fab, jump down in the description. They got the four colors right now, two new colors, that is this red and a silver gray, and then a black and a natural. And also a big thanks to Eclipse. And if you guys want to save on their plans, you can get 5% off by using the discount code also found in the description. Definitely download this. And also keep in mind, if you're new to the hobby, the Model A plans are free. All right, make sure you leave down in the comments. We did this because you guys asked for it. Which plane do you want us to review next? And we'll see you next time.